It's a free space. Okay everyone, time now for another surprise unboxing video here at Aubrey Scott Productions. In which for right now, I have one Skype guest, and that is Daniel Monahan. Hey, what's up, Dad? Oh, nothing much, really. Uh, I got myself a package right here. I know the YouTubing audience can't see it yet, but Daniel can. This is the box. I'll go ahead and show it right here for the guy, for everybody out there viewing. And I'll go ahead and open it. Gee, what do we have in here? Might take a little time to get it open, but see what I can do. I think this is Daniel's first time to ever be part of a surprise video. So let's see. What do we have inside? Oh, what, what, what? I did a little shopping on eBay last week, and these things actually came pretty quickly due to the fact that they were from Ooh, we lost Daniel, but we'll get him back here in a bit. Okay, let me get these out one at a time. Sorry about the wait, folks. I'm just getting everything organized here, and I'm waiting for Daniel to get back. Because the internet derped. Alright. And we lost him. I'll get him back. Let's see if I can going to be showing you all. I got two more Disney demo tapes. One is announcing the fourth animated classic released on video, Disney's The Sword in the Stone. Find out how you can get an adult size designer sweatshirt for free. See the reverse side on this of this cassette cover for details on another exciting release from Walt Disney Home Video, which is The Journey of Natty Gann. And we also got a 1992 demo tape of The Great Mouse Detective. There's the front and the spine are the same. Here's the back. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the TV on channel 3 real fast. And uh, let me go ahead and turn my webcam on so Daniel can see what it is I'll be showing. An April preview tape of Sword in the Stone and the Journey of Natty Gan. Let me go ahead and show the sticker label on this tape real fast. Printed on January 24th, 1986. And the tape of the Great Mouse Detective. Let me go ahead and show that real quickly. There's that. Print date of April 21st, 1992. So, Daniel, what do you want to see first? Do you want to see this? Do you want to see this opening first? 
Or do you want to see this opening first? Uh, I'm not really a fan of either one, so I'll do uh, uh, Great Mouse Detective. You want to see the opening of Great Mouse Detective first? All right. I can understand if you're not really a fan of either one. That is perfectly okay. You're entitled to your opinion. So let's come over here to my TV. There's nothing in my VCR, so I can go ahead and pop this tape in my VCR first to see how it opens. All right, are the closed captions on? Yes, they are. So here we go. Daniel requested that we show the opening to the Great Mouse Detective tape first, and then we'll show the uh, opening to the other tape. So green FBI warnings, we know that. What else we got? Coming to home video for the first time, it's Walt Disney's classic, The Great Mouse Detective. Yeah, ah, look out! It's coming your way, straight from a big theatrical release, where it tracked down well over $12 million at the box office in only six weeks of release. Goodness gracious! And it's coming at the greatest time of the year for sell-through, summertime. Last summer, Disney Home Video brought you great sell-through profits with Disney's Robin Hood and the Rescuers Down Under. Indeed. And this summer promises to be even greater. We've got a moment to lose because the great <laughs> is on the case. Bye, everyone. And on video cassette. Amazing. The great Moss Detective. Ah, ah, ah. He's Basil of Baker Street. Basil of the King. And he's teaming up with Tony. The game's afoot. And Dawson. Ah. You failed, Dawson. To save the kingdom from Radigan, the world's biggest rat. When did you call me? And save a little girl from danger. <laughs> you feel that it? <laughs> Not me. Not even Basil can stand in my way. I can't read. The great mouse detective. So let's work, old man. Critics and audiences alike have hailed it as a modern Disney classic, and it's no mystery to see why. Actually, it's elementary, my dear Dawson. Siskel and Ebert gave it two thumbs up, and Good Morning America raved, it's magic. Marvelous, isn't it? In its first theatrical release, the great mouse detective outgrossed the video hit The Rescuers Down Under, 33 million to 28 million. We've done it, old fellow. Now, the Great Mouse Detective is coming to video for the first time. Oh, great! Oh, jolly good! So get ready for a sell-through summer celebration. And I'm too proud to be a part of it. With Walt Disney's classic, The Great Mouse Detective. <coughs> Free book June 16th. We'll call July 14th. National advertised availability July 17th. It's your chance to make off with another great summer's worth of profit. Oh, this is wicked. 1992, the Walt Disney Company. It's got the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, as I suspected it would. So that's one down, and we got one more to go. Now let's take a look at the other tape of the April dealer preview tape of Sword in the Stone and the Journey of Natty Gan. This isn't a very long tape from what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get it all set up. All right, so you've just seen the opening to the demo tape of the Great Mouse Detective and we got one more to go. Sword in the Stone and Journey of Natty Gan, two in one. Doesn't look like it's very long, so let's take a look. Well, it's got the 1984 FBI warnings, as I suspected it would. It wouldn't be until later in 1986 when they would have the dark red FBI warning screens. So, copyright 1986, Walt Disney Productions. Walt Disney Home Video. Presents The legend of the sword in the stone began in the castle of Kay and became a classic animated film from Walt 
Disney. Let's see how these two relatively minor characters twist the famous legend. Have you heard the news, son? Walt Disney Home Video is finally releasing our story. It's the fourth animated classic video release. There was Dumbo. Watch that. <laughs> sure, Dumbo. Uh, the story about the famous archer from Sherwood Forest. Uh, you know, the guy Robin Hood. Gave the poor. Robin Hood. Yep. We all know how successful that was, don't we? Then there's the one about the, the funny little wooden kid with the nose. Pinocchio. When he lies. Pinocchio. <laughs> yep. Pinocchio. Pinocchio was one of the ten best-selling video cassettes of all time. And now with the sword and the stone, why, we're going to be famous. It's packed with spellbinding drama. Breathtaking action. Son, this is a must-have title with great song. For this discomoration, it's a most Alrighty. illogical, most illogical, most confusing. This is very interesting. I've never seen a uh, a 1986 demo video cassette before. What would you expect from a Disney classic release anyway? You'd expect a magical storyline with great characters like like me, Actor. You've got him under a spell, Marvin. The name is Merlin. You fail. That's all right, son. Sit up straight. Now, come on. This is important. I want you to watch. Let's open my food. Hey, Steve. There you are, showing Arthur the importance of physical strength and agility. I'm showing off one of the demo preview tapes, uh, Steve, of Sword of the Stone and Journey of Natty Gan. The little wart. Ah, that was training. Now he can pull the sword from the stone. Well, 
There's six things, right? It talks to the shell talker. Yep. The display mobile. That's correct. The uh, poster. That's three. Yeah, co op advertising. And the best of all, uh, my favorite one, the, the uh, don't tell me I know what it is. It's the. Uh, the, uh, the uh, what is it, son? Oh, I don't know, Dad. Can we get credit for four out of five? We come back next week. What a week! You fail! Sweatshirt you see here when they purchase three sword in the stone video cassettes. Oh. That wasn't hard. I knew the answer to that. Mark your calendars. The pre book date is March 6th, and the street date is March 25th. Now, both of you, watch this upcoming trailer about the sword in the stone so that when you next speak of King Arthur, you'll get the legend. <laughs> seen Journey and Daddy again, I highly recommend it. Great, great movie. Search for her father, set in the Great Depression. The film took four years to become a reality, 
and was a labor of love for producer Mike Lavelle. As soon as I read it, I knew it was a movie I wanted to make. It just moved me and it, and it excited me and it was the kind of a thing that that I, I, I just really emotionally responded to. I, I got very excited about it. Paul Wayne, speak up. Expert filmmakers from three countries pooled their talent to transport audiences into the sights and sounds of the mid-1930s. Meticulous attention was given to even the most minute detail in recreating this period piece. Just to match the period as authentically as possible, uh, it's just a big job. I mean, everywhere you put the camera, it's got to look like 1935. And that means from costumes to automobiles to uh, avoiding anything that looks contemporary. Talented newcomer Meredith Salinger makes her starring debut in the role of Natty Gann, a courageous young tomboy who travels cross-country in search of her father. Over 2,000 actresses were auditioned in a nationwide effort to find the perfect girl for the demanding title role. While performing the part, Meredith discovered many similarities between herself and the character she portrays. I'm a very sensitive person, but and I'm not as tough as she is. I mean, she had a lot of guts, and we both our achievers, though. We both try hard to, you know, get to a certain goal. And I think that's important. Where are you going? West. Me too. My dad's out west. Yeah? Yeah. In Washington State. What part? The middle part. Preparing for the role of a teenager in the 1930s presented an interesting challenge for Meredith, both mentally and physically. I did have to do a lot of physical things. I had to run 15 miles an hour and catch up to a train. I mean, I had to go into a lot of training to learn how to run faster. A distinguished supporting cast has brought the events and times of the Depression nearer to life. Ray Wise is Natty's rugged and handsome father. Scatman Crothers plays a knowing street vendor and Natty's close friend. I'll get 15 cents for it, mister. Wait a minute, kid. This is my pot, right? 15 cents? She was here first. I'm sorry. 15 cents. Lainey Kazan is a time-worn rooming house matron. Why must you be me? And the sure things John Cusack appears as a young drifter who assists Natty on her perilous trek across country. Don't look out! In the journey of Natty Gann, Meredith Salinger was <laughs> on to share the screen with a fascinating four-legged actor, a wolf named Jed. His astounding abilities in front of the camera left an eerie impression on the young actress. He made it. I was really taken aback because he was so independent and so human, it seemed like. Like, he, if you look in his eyes, you could understand what he was thinking. Or he could understand what you were thinking. A moving story, detailed craftsmanship, and quality acting. All vital elements of a motion picture. And one thread, the director, pulls it all together. By infusing a sense of warmth and drama, director Jeremy Cake successfully takes the audience on a moving and magical trip into a time gone by. We put all kinds of ingredients in, stir it all up, and serve it out to the public, and hopefully they like what we have to serve, so it's uh, appetizing to their uh, hearts and minds. Producing good films is a talent. Creating films that touch our emotions is an art. And for 35 years, art has been a Disney tradition. The process sometimes is real rewarding because it makes you sometimes feel phenomenal, but the results seem to be pretty good, too. And that all of these elements uh, are making a, an exciting adventure story and one that hopefully will deeply touch people because it's about something we all care about, which is the relationship between us and our parents. Now, Walt Disney Home Video brings to families everywhere new contemporary films in the best Disney tradition. Coming in April, The Journey of Natty Gann. Not bad, not bad. Well, there you have it for this uh, longest surprise video I've ever done here at Aubrey Scott Productions. 
Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all for that next video coming soon.